So the amazing engagement for Task Force Brawler is going absolutely swimmingly and we will be landing on Malaysia today. Another couple heavy cruisers down. Hello, hello and welcome back everyone to War on the Sea as of course the US Navy. We have previously finally captured Guadalcanal with very minimal enemy defences remaining. We have upgraded the airfield immediately to a level 2 airfield granting us access to both Wildcats and Air Cobras for close range air support and some Dauntlesses and Mitchells to attack incoming fleets and such and I think we're going to be uh, sending this out pretty much as quickly as possible because we do see a possible enemy task force over here rather nastily. We do see some sort of uh, patrol group over here, possibly, uh, according to our radar coverage. I'm not entirely sure what to expect from that. I'm going to want to certainly scout that out because, once again, knowledge is indeed porridge. Uh, we're going to send a Kingfisher over directly to that and I think we're just going to send out uh, some Dauntlesses over here to perhaps get rid of a cruiser, uh, perhaps uh, expecting that to be a cruiser group over here. Uh, so we'll do that immediately while we think about it. If we go to Dauntless, I think we will send some uh, armor-piercing bombs rather than sap bombs. Send out all six of those immediately. That will take 0.3 hours to get over there. And we're going to want to think about getting actually a third surface task force out or maybe even swapping around a ship in Task Force Thunder to bring back a second battleship at least. Uh, because that was of course the point of Task Force Thunder. Uh, but I'm not too sure. Maybe even just replace the Colorado for something a little more fresh so that can fight at full strength. Looking at the dockyard, actually we can do that fairly soon. We do have an Iowa coming out within three days and Atlanta in two. And we also have, uh, where did it go? The South Dakota uh, down here out in six days. So if we wait that long, we can uh, replace the Colorado and more. So we might want to think about perhaps a more minor task force uh, to scout around the open waters over here between Renault Island and of course say, the New Guinea bases. Uh, so that'd be rather interesting. We do still see the double Yamato task force lurking around Milne Bay. And having a closer look at these two places, we do have some incoming supplies, engineering fuel, and some troops coming onto Port Moresby with the idea of reinforcing that and getting that to a level three airfield because the aircraft are more oriented towards attack and strikes with this particular airfield. So getting more access to greater and more higher amount of uh, aircraft there would be absolutely brilliant. So with that being said, our goal today, once again, is to reinforce Guadalcanal, perhaps, or even just get um, some troops landed onto Malaysia to finally control the main objective central islands around here. So let's get going and see what we have. Okay, so our Dauntlesses have come into contact with that particular task force. What do we have here? We have, that looks like a Nagato, a Takao, another Oedo, another Oedo. That might be an Albert or Foot Attacker over on number eight position. Looks like an Albert to me, excellent stuff. So I think uh, with our current payloads, we are actually gonna go for the Takao uh, booth with our current position. Payloads will do some good lasting damage to the Takao. Uh, won't pierce the armor of the Kong, or the, Kong, the Nagato quite so hard. Um, but of course we do like to soften up the enemy where possible. So this is gonna be a difficult approach because we do have some Akazuki escorts to think about over here. So it's entirely Akazuki escorts in terms of destroyers. It certainly is. But uh, you know, what can you do sometimes? We are coming from the flank of the enemy, so the AA shall be somewhat hindered there. I think we're just gonna move in. Thank you. 
Well, unfortunately, our Dauntlesses didn't get any major hits onto that uh, to Cal, but not to worry. The uh, enemy task force is not uh, being particularly aggressive at the moment. However, what is being aggressive is a small group of destroyers. That uh, a group we did send the Kingfisher out to scout previously was, in fact, three submarines. So we sent out um, some destroyers detached from Task Force Thunder alongside some Mitchells armed with some depth charges to try and hunt that down more directly. We've just made contact with two uh, particular uh, submarines and it uh, looks like they are in fact firing on us of course. So I'm going to bring round our Mitchells, uh, or let's see, we're going to reduce their altitude, we're going to turn their speed down and that's so they can get a tight, tight turn and go for hopefully the number two in particular. Looks like the enemy is firing on to our leading destroyer over here so we are going to come over here and think at the moment do we want to re uh, reverse slow down our speed immediately or do we charge ahead and turn around is always the question there hmm I think we charge ahead and take a hard starboard turn going to break here increase our speed twice a bit and turn out here that will mean we lose sight unfortunately so break here increase our uh, speed of tad and just turn to port side once again to re-establish contact there get our turn a little harder than this I think and there's the third set of torpedoes coming in here quite a bit of trouble is this uh, 3d quite a bit of trouble indeed actually get out wants to straighten out a tad there how we're we doing with strong I can't really make out, there we go, here's the torpedo stream, so it should be okay there. Uh, Waller is okay so far. Uh, how are we looking over here? Let's turn the speed right down once again. I might just need to keep circling, actually. Not any particular rush to drop our depth charges. We can't sight the enemy. New torpedoes in the water sighted. I can't see the streams on my screen outside of the map there's one stream okay they're crossing now hmm I think we should be about fine there strong needs to turn and that's four sets of torpedoes that's very nasty indeed and there is one of the submarines so let's get around turn in here get the waller out into this position and we can carry on turning with the strong, of course. We just need to watch the Afridi here. We're getting some torpedoes just on this line, right behind it there. Might just be turning into that, actually, so far. Can't really see. Here's one torpedo. Can't see the stream. I think the stream is just here. On this source, of course. Looks like we've sighted an enemy scouse aircraft. It looks like we might have just evaded that torpedo dropping here. There we go. There, in fact, is a scout plane. So we have, of course, lost once again the target there, but not to where we can re establish. I think we'll slow down with the Afridi now. Fairly slow, just so that we can get our sonars working correctly. We'll turn out a little with our waller to increase our spread uh, of uh, sonar. Well, unfortunately, we're suffering from some sort of uh, bug in the game there. Our Mitchells have actually have not launched out with any depth charges, despite us uh, asking very nicely for them to do so. So we're going to have to do a very standard uh, uh, depth charge attack here. We are just coming up onto the one submarine we have still got sight on. You can see there's nothing else about on the map there. So we're just going to come right over the enemy's uh, bow before we drop so that we allow for the drop time. We have lost direct sonar contact with this ship. So we're going to cheese through us a little bit. Very thankful that the game does allow us to do that, of course. <laughs> uh, looks like that is going fairly slow, so we're going to fire out now. Reduce our speed a tad. So we can keep in line and make sure that doesn't uh, spread out too hard on our drop. That does look pretty damn decent, actually. Come on. Fairly close. Should be doing some damage, but can't see any saturation just yet onto the ship. 
which is usually the only indicator you get for these things. Okay, so we've dropped all of our depth charges there. Let's take an action report. Minor damage. Minor damage. So we will end up firing some more, of course. Looks like that's just going to overtake us. Apparently doing more than 30 knots, very surprisingly. So we're going to try and match that at 15. We can see that we're sat a little further away to its port side there. That would be why we didn't hit quite so hard. So we've repositioned ourselves and we are still a little bit to the enemy's port side there. We're going to increase our speed to try and match them. See how this drop does. Well, Task Force Sprawler's maiden engagement has finally come. We are about to engage a very minor cruiser group once again, uh, just outside Guadalcanal. This is to protect our incoming Australian-based supplies, which are uh, going straight towards Malaita, simply because they were coming in with some troops and reinforcing supplies for Guadalcanal for that primary invasion. However, uh, because of the current situation, we don't necessarily need that quite so much now. So we're going to press the advantage. I'm sure High Command will be very, very pleased with that. Uh, so we're going to take the initiative there, but we do need to make sure it's safe with this engagement here. What do we have? The uh, enemy is fielding a Takao, an Alba, a couple of Kazukis, and an Oyodo once again over here. So fairly minor, should be quite a decent engagement for us here. Currently holding our fire to make sure that so we do get a decent solution up. We're going to start firing now, of course. Uh, the enemy does in fact have some planes coming in. Didn't notice that to begin with, so our secondaries and of course uh, destroyers are going to fire at that. Want to just make sure that our Atlanta doesn't fire out on those. If we go to orders and take off, also fire flak, and it is focusing the number two Akazuki, so we'll just reissue those commands there. Should be okay for that. Hmm, come on. Just make sure that's on, because that doesn't look like that's actually firing at the uh, planes coming out. Not a worry, we do have to move around though because uh, the enemy is to our flank. So we're taking a massive uh, starboard side turn across our uh, formation here. I'm just going to double check that our heavy crews are firing out as well because they were on hold fire as we move around to a more favourable position. You can see the enemy is moving fairly slowly because they want to try and move as well. And I think we do want to think about getting some uh, of our own torpedoes out if they are coming towards us. Getting some very narrow misses already against that Takao. Very, very good indeed. So we have both of our battleships firing on the Takao. Two heavy cruisers onto the Oyodo. Uh, we have our Samson light cruiser going for the uh, Oyodo over here. Got uh, all of our destroyers firing on the leading Akazuki. And the Atlanta does look like it is actually firing onto this Akazuki over here. Should do fairly well against that. We see some direct hits onto the Takao now. Absolutely brilliant. We'll just skirt along that for now. How are our secondaries going against this? We do take some hits onto the Illinois by the looks of things. Rather nasty. Let's get onto the fires over there. Oh, I should have stay uh, on here with some damage control. So that general compartment there. How's our formation holding up? Looks like we're keeping formation in this turn. Okay, cool. So it is just with one zero that will try to come into strafe something. It shouldn't be too horrible with just the one zero, of course. I think with the Jenkins here, we might want to try and move around. So that uh, we do manage to get some torpedoes going. So we're going to try and turn it to starboard here. Enemy bearing is roughly 180. I think we will let uh, our flak focus on to the enemy's spotters. Because that will have an impact on their 
uh, current solution on us. Okay, so let's just double check the range. Pause very quick as it do so. The range is 13 kilometers. We're within that, so the relative distance is actually smaller and growing smaller because the enemy is coming directly at us. So that's absolutely fine. Mainly fire those out to a standard position over here. How are we doing with this Illinois? Looks like we're getting on top of things here. Let's take ourselves off of spotting. So we do have a very good high solution. Make sure we're doing that across the board with any good solutions there. Do you have to make sure you reissue these commands just to uh, refresh the firing orders? That's another spotter down. Excellent. We do have our own Kingfisher about. That looks like we've just broken off with that Minneapolis there because, of course, we didn't manage to control this properly, apparently. Okay, interesting. So I have to watch out for that. If we reform here. Excellent. That should be absolutely fine. Brooklyn is struggling a little there. Not entirely sure why. Okay, so we're going to make sure we slow down over here. And we do the same with uh, Minneapolis. Actually, just slow down. We can break up our, for our formation then. Jervis might also want to fire up some torpedoes as well. The range is 12.8 kilometers on that. Enemy is still moving in. If we use our range finder over here, that is just about in range. I think the enemy does come closer. So we are going to fire out. Manually fire, two degrees spread, and we can move out over here. But we'll have to watch out with the Jenkins, of course. That is under threat. So let's lay some smoke. We'll actually, I think, increase our speed if we can and turn out over here. Okay, how are we looking? Let's have a peek, peek at the uh, enemy. We've got some good hits onto that Takao by the looks of things. Excellent there. Let's take a damage report. Uh, so Takao moderate to moderate, but otherwise, enemy's looking fairly decent. Very, very close shells there. How are we doing? Looks like the Brooklyn has avoided the damage there. So, what we'll do is we'll take the Minneapolis here. And, hmm, we've not got a lot of room to maneuver with this uh, island here. Of course, Guadalcanal's right there. Do you like this? Jenkins should be in formation, coming to formation. That's absolutely fine. Or Jervis, rather. Brooklyn, you're not quite going to be in formation. So what we can do, actually, is get the Minneapolis and Brooklyn to line up. Uh, Minneapolis is number three. Come on. Having a bit of trouble moving that around. Just line ahead very easily with the Minneapolis leading. Increase the speed then. And that should sort itself out. How we're doing over here. Looks like this destroyer is moving a little too quickly. So we'll have to, yeah, just make sure the speed comes down. Keep an eye on that. Speed of the year to count is actually only five knots there. Have we destroyed its engine? Quite likely. Does look to be the case. Guns are still active though. How's that Alba doing? Still doing okay. Looks like our cruisers haven't got the uh, greatest shells on there, but it does look like we've damaged the engine room. That's not cover smoke coming out, that's a internal fire. What are we doing over here? Still trying to figure out this tiny formation going on. Jenkins is still under fire. Hasn't taken too much damage though, which is excellent. And we'll be circling around to deal with that. How are we doing over here? Looks like Samson does want to... Uh... Okay, looks like it does want to try and ram the Pensacola, so we're going to slow down. And we're going to come out round to the outside of our formation. Atlanta also does have torpedoes, so we're going to fire some of those out. Um, only one per side, so we'll deactivate the port side because that will fire into our own ships currently. And we'll fire. We could also watch out for our rear ships there. If we can fire like that, that's absolutely fine. You can see them drop in there. Excellent. So we will just reduce our speed quite drastically with Minneapolis actually. How are the cruisers looking? 
Actually, there's a lot of fires across the board here. What is this? Looks like the uh, number two Akazuki is coming under massive damage from our Atlanta. Absolutely brilliant there. You're very, very close indeed there. If that were larger caliber shells, that would be a lot of damage. Do see some good direct hits coming into that Akazuki. Excellent. So are our destroyers finally firing? It doesn't look to be the case. Okay, so we need to start pressing fire. Ordering this out. The Valette doesn't actually have a target, so let's uh, fire into the leading Akazuki. And the number two is down. Excellent. So if we take the Atlanta and focus onto the leading Akazuki as well there, that would be excellent. We will keep that at uh, narrow, though. Don't necessarily need to spot that. It's coming closer. It's a fairly standard uh, course there, quite just straight at us. Now I can finally increase our speeds with these heavy cruisers. Kearsarge on this course with the rest of its formation looking good. Have we taken any damage? No, we haven't. Nothing horrible. And how are we looking with the uh, Illinois over here? We are on top of those fires. So the maiden engagement for Task Force Brawler is going absolutely swimmingly and we will be landing on Malaysia today. Another couple heavy cruisers down. Absolutely brilliant. Looks like that Takao is trying to recover there though. So he's taking some more glancing shots onto the funnel, as you see there. And there we go, a very nice secured sinkage there. That means our uh, supplies and troops will be able to invade the lighter very successfully, downed all enemy aircraft and ships, very nice, taking very minimal damage in return. The damage on the Pensacola Atlanta is pre-existing from previous battles. Those are battle scars, of course. So let's uh, come out with our lovely reward of 11 command points. Do you have something lurking about down here? It looks like it's just patrolling. Um, but nothing threatened so far. So that was right outside uh, Florida Islands of Guadalcanal and such. Um, did force in Task Force Brawler to try and back ourselves up. How long do we have before our supplies reach Shermalyser? 0.9 hours, let's do that right now. And there we go, so we are going to manage our cargo. We don't want to unload everything because we do have some engineering meant for Guadalcanal as well. So let's load all of our troops all of our supplies, uh, there is a few more, excellent, uh, these are the engineering units, excellent, so just a few more supplies from our destroyers over here, will be absolutely brilliant, and then we can send over our engineering to Guadalcanal. So how does that look on Melissa then? Looking very, very good indeed. We have more troops than supplies, so that's not great, but the balance of power suggests that we should be okay there. We might take quite a few heavy troop losses there, so maybe uh, we can send some supplies from Guadalcanal and transfer them over to Melita to help us out. Um, but I think that is unfortunately all we have time for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have our primary objectives and more done for today, and I think High Command will be very happy with that. Uh, so no need to drag that out anymore. So, more to come in the future. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video today, and I hope to hear your feedback in the comments section. It's always very useful, and uh, enjoy what I'm reading those myself. So, I shall see you in the future. May all of your nights and days be auspicious. Goodbye.